Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today we're going to be dual mining Caspa and Zill. We're going to be doing it on my RTX 3060 rig and my RTX 3060 Ti rig. I'm going to show you how to set up a flight sheet. We're going to do the extra config arguments, do a little bit of overclocking, and I will go ahead and show you a little bit of the profitability I'm getting on my rig. If the video helps, definitely throw me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It definitely helps the channel. You know what? We're going to have a great video. Just go ahead and hit it right now. I know you're going to love this. Let's hop over. Let's look at some settings and get you fired up. All right, so first things first, let's get a flight sheet done. Pretty easy to do. All we're gonna do is uh, click on flight sheets on top, go down to Caspa as our first coin. I'm gonna choose the Caspa wallet. There's only one wallet that I know of as recording this video and it's the web-based one, so that's the one I'll be using. The pool we're gonna be using Hero Miners and we'll be doing the USA East because we're in North Carolina. And the miner's gonna be BZ Miner because it allows for the dual mining. Uh, the second coin, we're gonna choose Zill. Now I have a trust wallet. Um, you can you can use whatever wallet you're comfortable using. Trust wallet supports Zill, so I'm using that one. Uh, let's see in here. We are going to be choosing Crazy Pool and US, and then we want to go ahead and name the flight sheet, whatever you want to name it, and then we're going to come up here to set up minor config. Make sure everything is filled out in here, and it looks like it is. We do not need a password, so that's okay. I know in this section we are going to have to finish filling it out, so we'll choose Zill the wallet we'll just choose like that if you want to put your full wallet address in here you can or you can do it like this same thing with the worker name same thing with the pool url we don't need a password in here and the intensity is if you want to split mining between two coins let's say you want to do a 60 40 split you want to mine one more than the other or a 70 30 split or whatever you want it to do it'd be in the intensity because zill only mines for one minute uh, once an hour we're just going to let it run and mine completely during that period. Uh, so we're not going to mess with the intensity. Uh, otherwise, that's basically it. The next thing you want to do is the uh, extra config arguments. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my flight sheets to show you that. At this point, you would click apply and save and then create the flight sheet. And that's it. I'm not going to bother to you because, like I said, we're just going to go over and look at it here. So we'll go to the 3060 rig first. Now, all of these are Samsung, except for one is Hynix. Uh, and it's just the reverse on my other rig on the 3060 Ti. So let's take a look at here and the flight sheet. And we'll come here and we'll edit. We'll go here. And this is what we were just looking at a moment ago. But this is the section that we're looking at. So in here, I know there's a lot of different things. And let me just go ahead and show you what they are. So for the core clock offset, this is going to be how much power you're giving your card. Uh, we have it set uh, offset at 350. The uh, lower the number that you put here, the more power that it's going to give the card or allow the card to use. Um, so if you want to let the card use as much power as possible, uh, it'd be zero. Now, as you can see, there's two sets of numbers in here. Let me clarify that. The first number in here is for Caspa. The second numbers in here are for Zill. So for Caspa, we don't need it to use all of the power. So we are going to uh, throttle that a little bit. And 350 is kind of the number that I found works for me. And I'll explain that a little bit more as we move into the other sections here. Uh, and how I come up with the 350. So the lock is 1400 uh, for the uh, core clock. Now this part, it could go down. I, I, I've gotten down to 13 and change, low 13, and all the way up to 1500. So uh, you're going to have to figure out this area in here uh, that works best with your cards. Uh, now I am using the 30 series cards for this. So you'll figure out which works best for you. But I was moving in increments of 25, and once I saw a big jump in between uh, settings, I then went back and moved in increments of five. Uh, and I did that with pretty much uh, that, that whole section for both rigs, um, moving in 25s, excuse me, and then going, in, uh, going back and then moving in only fives to find where that perfect, the sweet spot is. Uh, that's going to be changing for this one. And uh, we're just talking about Caspa right now. Uh, the memory clock offset is going to be zero. And A10 is the accepted number that goes into this section. Um, you won't have to change this. This will just stay the way it is. So let's talk about uh, Zill. Zill on the bottom here. We'll start the bottom work back up. Uh, that's going to stay at zero. You don't have to worry about that one. And then we'll come here. So Zill is ETHash. So if you remember your settings that you used to mine Ethereum with, uh, roundabout, uh, those are sort of going to be your settings in here. So I have put mine in here um, for my uh, memory clock and my core clock, and I've got those set in here. 
and then for the offset it is going to be zero because we want it to use as much power as it needs uh, because we are going to um, for that one minute we're just going to let the rig run run wild so to speak uh, so that's going to be zero i guess if you wanted to try to work on some power settings you can but remember <laughs> this is only mining for one minute once an hour so if you change anything you won't be able to see it take effect before that one minute is up anyway and uh, because i typically have to reboot my rig each time i change something in here so you never get a chance to really see the effect because it only lasts one minute so uh yeah it happens pretty quick so you'd have to change it wait for the next hour watch what happens change it or tune it a little bit better wait the hour see what happens and do that <laughs> You have 24 chances a day. You do whatever you need to do for that. So uh, that's the 3060. Let's get out of here and let's go to the 3060 Ti. And uh, let's look at this one. Uh, where's my flight sheet? Over here, edit. And this is the 3060 Ti. And uh, again, you'll be working with your power here. The higher the number, the lower the power, uh, the lower the amount of power the card will be receiving. Um, uh, I'm at 1425 on this, this rig here. Uh, and this is just for my uh, CASPA. I am at zero and then 810 again. Like I said, this is just the standard. 810 is gonna be your number. Let's go over to the ZIL, start at the bottom and zero again. You really won't have to mess with this line. Um, it'll pretty much stay the same. And then here again, you're going to be working with your ETHASH overclocks that you used to use all the time. So if you still remember them, I had to go back and look at one of my previous videos and some of my other old stuff I had and uh, pull my, my settings. Um, and then the final is just letting that card run wild and giving it all the power it wants and leaving that at zero. Now, as you're tuning your cards, you may notice that some of your cards are not doing as well as some of your other cards. And uh, let's bring up one of my videos here. I'm just going to bring that. It's probably a bad spot to stop at. It looked kind of kooky there. All right, here we go. And, um, and as you can see that I've got different settings in here for almost all of these cards. Well, these are a lot of them are the same. Uh, let's look at the 3060 Ti's I had. And here they are. And you can see 1380, 1375, 1400. I mean, I've got 1300 here, uh, 1400, 1380. I mean, it, it goes up and down. And same thing in here, 1800, 1925. I got a 1650 in there. So there's a lot of different um, numbers that I have in here. Now, let's just say that I wanted to fine tune each one of these cards. Well, let's go ahead and bring this notepad up. <clears throat> you can see some settings I was fooling around with over here. And this is a section I want you to really look at right here. So let's say you had three cards in your rig. In this one, I have eight cards. So I would have eight of these numbers going across. Um, but you can fine tune each card individually because on my rigs, uh, when I was doing Ethereum, I, I started fine tuning. I mean, you know, I had a lot of time on my hands to fine tune these things and get the best settings I could for each card. Now it seems that we change a lot of things daily, uh, but you know, again, if you wanna dial your cards in, this bottom section here is how you'll dial uh, your cards in. Um, these, these are not the numbers that you'll use. They're all, you know, use your numbers from here. I'm just showing you this as an example. I think this was uh, my mining Nexa. I think that's Nexa's uh, 501 is that number for, uh, uh, for the memory clock locking. Uh, but anyway. Um, this is what it would look like. So if you had more than this, uh, you would just continue this out. Um, always make sure you have a closed bracket on the outside of all of your brackets, along with the quotes on the outside of those. <clears throat> like I said, just follow this format and you'll be fine if you want. I'll copy and paste and put some of these uh, in the uh, description below. So if you want to uh, copy paste any of this stuff, just so you can get an idea <clears throat> of how to put your numbers in, you can use this. Uh, but that's it. So anyway, these are my numbers right now. These are new numbers. I haven't tested these out yet. 
Now I'm waiting on Zill to kick in in another 33 minutes. Um, now, just remember that it's tough to find that one spot when you see that Zill mining happen. You can come to the pool and on Crazy Pool, it does show you how long until it happens. So you can watch that if you want to see that clip really quick. I got that here. Uh, this is um, when it did it for me. You can see how it just switches uh, right over and uh, and yeah, that's it. Anyway, let's look at some profitability really quick. So this is what I had in before <clears throat> and, um, you know, wasn't wasn't horrible, horrible numbers. And I was looking down at the profitability uh, two forty two a day profit on that. That's that's respectable. That's not half bad. Um, but now I've been working on some numbers. So let's go ahead and see what my numbers are now. Uh, you can see the five, six, three, seven. So, all right, down a little bit. Now, I was at 11.54. Now, I did go ahead and pull my numbers directly from the wall. And these are my numbers that I got. So, 980, let's call it 981. So, 981. So, down considerably not bad at all those are directly from the wall so like i said before we're at 242 let's see what we're at again 273 even more respectable <laughs> so not half bad not half bad well, anyway, y'all, I hope this helped. If it did help, definitely throw me a thumbs up. You know I appreciate that. It definitely helps the channel. If you really want to help the channel, you can hit that subscribe button. It's going to be right over there. If you want to watch any of my other videos, I'm going to have one up over there for you. Appreciate y'all checking in. I'll see you next time.